Hi everybody and welcome to this general rookie division playthrough for the African Wilds tournament here on the channel. Got a good selection of shots here from the archives with a mixture of tailwind angles. And don't forget every wind angle in this tournament will feature an element of tailwind. May not be predominantly tailwind, maybe more crosswind, but still has a tailwind element. And those are reflected in the shots in this playthrough. Replays and adjustments for all nine holes in the commentary. Please check the channel throughout the tournament week as well. There will be plenty more content on the way. Good luck. Let's get started with hole number one. Here we go then with the drive on hole number one. Going with a quarterback and a marlin. We're going with top spin and right spin as shown there. Just aim centre fairway in that little uh, dimple there in the fairway as we can see the second bounce. Adjustment here is max plus 10 even though we are not at max distance of the club still going to adjust max plus 10 and we hit perfect nice with the quarterback for the accuracy of course and we bounce over there nicely and we just want to roll a little way there onto the fairway second shot going to be playing with the backbone long iron here and we're going for mid distance and i'm going to be applying some backspin and there, we've just got to look at the second bounce here. We don't have a great uh, ball guide with true rookie clubs here, so we're just going with what we can. Can be played with lower level backbone as well. Two bars of backspin. Look at the setup and the second bounce as well. I estimate this to be mid distance of club, so I adjust mid distance plus 10% elevation. And then, of course, we do hit perfect, and we come in very, very nicely here and get ourselves a nice drop on hole number one. Cool. So extra mile, three bars of top spin, two bars of side spin to the right with a tight and we will need that for the second shot. Yellow ring just touching the rough on the right and adjust here, um, max distance with 10% elevation. I'm gonna go with half a ball of curl to the right. Plenty of room there and we bounce very very nicely indeed. Could maybe have gone with a click more topspin once again but three is safe and just prevents against any accidental overpower when you're using your curl. A big dog once again and we're applying topspin so that we can see the second bounce just after the rough because we do have some tailwind here which is going to help carry the ball. Uh, one bar of left spin as well. I think we could actually go to 1.2 bars, to be honest, or either tweak our aim, because we do just miss this one. Uh, max plus 20 is the adjustment. No curl, and again, we're just playing for the eagle. If we do get the albatross, then that would be a wonderful bonus as well. But if not, just make sure you're going to secure the eagle on this one. Look at that one. Bounce is lovely, but just missing a quarter of a square, really. It was a good try, nonetheless. Hole number three going with Sniper and Katana because we will need some side spin to the right. I like the speed of this shot. I do think that is good. However, I do realise really we need to aim our uh, selves a little bit further to the left or go with a little bit less right spin. So it's one and a half back spin, three bar side spin to the right. However, I do believe 2.7, 2.8 would be better here. Red ring touching the rough with sniper level 5 can of course be played with other wood clubs as well if you don't have sniper. Mid plus 10 is the adjustment. As you can see, very very happy with the speed on this one. But just off line here, so a small tweak to the right spin has a very very good chance of getting in for a hole in one. Hole number four, we do have a drop here. And once again, same setup as before. Four and a half bars top spin, two bars side spin to the left. Ball guide pointing down the middle of the fairway. Almost half the blue ring in the rough there with extra mile level six. Adjust mid plus 10. And then we take our shot. No curl, no overpower, just a standard shot. Hit perfect and off we go. Bouncing there very nicely and rolling down the fairway. And once again, we're looking for a drive distance of around 
320 yards. From here, I know this is going to be once again mid-distance of the club with, once again, a 10% elevation because we do have crosswind. So it's going to affect the second bounce a little bit more than straight tailwind or headwind. 3 backspin or 3.2 backspin, see what works for you. Either will drop, I would think. But the focus here is, of course, having the red ring touching the rough line there. And then we adjust and rings. Medium distance with 10% elevation. And then all you have to do is hit perfect. Which we do. And we see their camera stays zoomed out and we get it very nicely right at pin for an eagle. And here I'm adjusting this one max plus 10, however I do under adjust it. Sorry, I over adjust it. We need to go max plus zero. Half a bar of backspin and just moving around there so I don't get that glitchy ball guide. Because if you do get the glitch roll, you will fly past the hole. So just be careful when you're setting up this shot. Find a good landing position. Aim as best you can. I would recommend go max plus zero rather than max plus ten, which is what I did here. As you can see, the speed is really, really nice, but we just over adjusted slightly. Hole number six, we're going to use extra mile and a tighten. Four and a half top spin, one bar side spin to the left, stretching out so that the first bounce is clearly on the fairway. Ball guide pointing down the middle, uh, just to the left of the bunker up ahead. Uh, we adjust max plus 10, power three numbers. And once we've adjusted, we're going to push back up to max so that I can get as much distance possible on the drive in this nice tailwind angle. No overpower, no curl, just a nice perfect ball. And the first bounce will clear the rough very nicely indeed. Bounces comfortably over the rough and rolls along the fairway and uh, is approaching that nice open space there without risking the rough or the sand. Drive distance of around 379 yards. Second shot, I'm at max distance of my long iron here. So I'm going to go with a couple, uh, one and a half bar backspin, one bar side spin to the left. Spins will vary though, depending on wind angle. In the end, I changed to two left spin just to make sure that I can aim further away from the rough. Here, I just max plus 10. The problem is though, I need to offset the ball guide slightly or add more to the adjustment. We miss this one just on the side, but either way, we're going to get a very, very safe eagle on this one. You can, of course, play with a long iron with more ball guide if need be. Playing this one maximum distance, 10% elevation. We need to add more elevation to aim at the pin. We could go max 20, or we could offset the ball guide depending on the wind angle. The speed is good, just missing to the left, though, but a nice easy putt for the eagle. Seven, the tricky downhill par three, going with the backbone because we don't have any headwind, so we can go with backbone and a navigator. Now, I do uh, take a while to decide on what spin I want to go with here. And in the end, I think I go with a bar and a half of backspin and one bar or half a bar side spin to the right. Let's have a look. What do we do? What do we do? It's one and a half backspin, half a bar to the right. Red ring just away from the rough there. Ball guide just pointing left of pin. I adjust this max plus 20, however, we do need to go a bit more. So I would recommend you go max plus 25 with this one. But this is a difficult hole to drop because the different wind strengths will give you a different uh, wind effect on the second bounce. You see this bit here. It's affected a lot more by the wind. So a little bit more adjustment and that might have gone in. So stretch out, find your landing position here. We are going with top spin as shown, and we want to aim right in the middle of that bottleneck on the fairway. We will need to push up three rings, so I adjust max plus 10, and then I push up to max, and I'm counting how many rings I push up. I can only push up two and a quarter, so I'm going with almost a ring of overpower, like three quarters of a ring of overpower, just so it's beginning to shake here. But obviously different club levels, you'll have to work that out as well. Lower level extra mile, if you don't fancy overpower, then play with the Berserker if you can. 
But we need a Titan for the wind push, so definitely go with that rather than a Kingmaker. But in the, in the end, comes in very nicely. Look at that. Tapping in for an Eagle. Now do try and push this a little bit um, harder to see if we can get in range with a rough bump for true rookie clubs, but it is still difficult. Red ring touching the rough, though, same adjustment as before, max plus 10. Four and a half top spin, two bars side spin to the right. I'm going with some more overpower here, though. Two rings and a right edge of the ball touching the outside wall of the adjustment ring to the right. Got a perfect away, which is very nice here, because we don't want to give ourselves a longer shot on the second. Again, could be pushing this further, though. So if you want to go with three or four rings of overpower, then you can do. I'm still too short, even with the sniper level five, to do the rough bump. But we will do, once again, the containing uh, bounce up instead. 2.8 bars backspin, two bars side spin to the left. And we're going to adjust max plus zero. We have room on the club to do so. Don't need to push back up. We're just going to take a shot, and I'm going with full curl to the left with this club, which is about 1.2 of the ball outside the adjustment ring to the left. We do hit perfect, and actually, even though we're just playing a containing shot here, we do get fairly close for an albatross here, but it's still a very easy eagle putt. Thank you for watching this video for the African Wilds tournament here on the channel. Reminder to join us all on Facebook free uh, Golf Clash group. Search for BK Golf Clash. Over 11,000 members. Free guides, shot sharing and discussion points there. Plenty of people to help you out in your gameplay. And I'm over there myself, so come and ask me some questions and I'll be interacting with you all over there. Totally free to join. Good luck, everybody. See you soon. Bye for now.